Hello everyone, I'm Dahlia from Britsent. Although one of the best ways to learn English is to take lessons from a native speaker, like at Britsent, it's also extremely important that you learn to study independently. So today I'm going to show you three online resources that you can use to improve your English skills and study at home. So let's go. The first online resource I'd like to tell you about is BBC Learning English. And this is a site where you can find lots of resources on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, and it's all in one place. I would particularly recommend the featured content called Six Minute English. However, if you really work through BBC Learning English and you work through all their lessons, you should find yourself improving in no time. If you want to be a bit more practical with your pronunciation practice, then check out a site called Youglish. The name of the website is a portmanteau of the words YouTube and English. Basically, if you want to know how a word or a phrase is used by a native speaker, then you can type it in here and it will search YouTube videos where those words or phrases are used in a natural context. Whether you want to learn British English or American English or you don't really mind, Youglish will give you loads of examples so you can hear exactly how it should sound. Let's say, for example, you've learned the phrase bloody hell. When you type this onto Youglish, you will find lots of examples and videos of native speakers saying bloody hell. Haunting, because people say bloody hell, mate. I haven't got time to get fit. Bloody hell, that's a great handle, John. Beef, it takes 100 gallons of water to make one pound of beans. It begs the... You go to a mikveh, you immerse yourself in the water. And finally, we have a website called Sentence Dictionary. As you might have guessed, this website gives you lots of examples of sentences with the word that you've typed into the search bar. So this resource is really useful because when you're learning new vocabulary, you should always, always, always learn them in a sentence. This is because words in your native language and words in English will not mean the same thing every single time. It usually depends on context, especially with English. So the more time you see a word in a sentence, the deeper your understanding of that word will be. Okay, so our bonus resource is Britsent. If you go over to our channel, you'll find lots of different resources on how to improve your English and life in the UK. If there's anything that you would like to see on the channel, leave it in the comments below and we will do our best to get back to you. That's all from me today. Remember, if you'd like to improve your English skills and you'd like some help, sign up to Britsent. We offer one-to-one -one courses, both online and face-to-face. -face. We also offer high-quality editing services and Korean to English translation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Can I say peace? Yeah, you say peace. I say peace. Okay, I, yeah. I do that.